It starts with an itch and a tingle. Hey guys, it's Christina here, and I wanted to share with you my end of the year favorites. I know I'm pretty late than other people, like usual, um, but like I said in my other favorite, my December favorites video, I believe, I have been sick, like nonstop. I'm still sick, and it's like already like been like three weeks, and I think. The sickness like went to my stomach as well, and I'm just sick. And uh, it's the cough, so I might cough here and there during the video and stuff. But I still want to share with you. And I know I didn't do like my hair update video, and you can see my hair color changing in the videos that I've been posting. But um, talk about that later. But let's just get started with end of the year favorites because I have a lot actually. Um, especially with beauty products. The others, not so much, but for beauty products, I do have a lot. So let's get started. I want to start off with a group of items, and they are basically Urban Decay products. And I have the 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 basics palette, and then also the slush palette for the cheeks, and then also Urban Decay number two and number one. And I don't have the third one yet. I'm still debating if I want want it. Um, I did get a lot of recommendations for it, but uh, I'm still debating. But I've been loving Urban Decay products, especially the eyeshadows. Um, before I was just like. Uh, like they're all the same stuff, but I've actually been like using the palettes a lot every day, and yeah, I, yeah, I've been using it a lot. Um, the next thing that I want to talk to you about is also um, Urban Decay, and it's the Naked Skin um, Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Foundation. And you can see how much I use stuff. Um, it's been a while since I used this actually, but. Um, in the middle, I guess, um, especially when it was kind of windy or something, I would use this, but I won't really use this alone because I need more cover. So I would actually mix it a little bit of the Makeup Forever Matte, matte, vel ve uh, matte Velvet um, Foundation, and I would do like one or two pumps of the Naked, and then like a small tiny bit of the Makeup Forever and just gives you a lot of coverage, but at the same time very lightweight um, because you don't put a lot of the matte velvet on um, compared to the Naked. Um, so yeah, so the Makeup Forever one, I've been using it for more cover-up um, in combination with the Naked one, which is a little bit more light. Um, coverage and a little bit more light feeling to your skin and I feel like the matte one is more dry and then the naked one is a little bit more you know softness or natural um, so I've been using that because my skin's been a little bit more dry especially in a cold weather the next item I want to talk to you about are the Coralista Benefit blush and this is pretty much the blush that I've been using the past six months like straight on I've been using other blushes like the naked one and stuff like that but this one's the main one that I've been using a lot. I love the blush brushes that's in it all the time and it's great for traveling as well. So I've been really really liking the Coralista one this year. Um, next items I'm going to talk about are my, um, actually I'm going to talk about my favorite eye, liquid eyeliner. The only one thing that I don't like about it is that it's not waterproof, but it is mostly smudge proof I believe, because it doesn't really get around in my on my eyes. But it's the CoverGirl, um, uh, CoverGirl liquid eyeliner, and I've talked about this, I had a separate video of it, and I've been just really recommending it, and it's very tiny, so it's very easy to carry around in your purse or when you're traveling. So the, the next items that I want to talk to you about are lip glosses and I don't have one with me but I do have this the other one that I've been using it's the Super Stay 10 Stain Gloss by Maybelline and I've been using this one this one's 120 in very heavenly and then the other one is kind of similar but it's a little bit darker than this one I forgot the name of it but um, I've been using these a lot especially when I'm going out and when I really need that red lip it's just long lasting 
last thing than my other ones and it just stains it and it just stays put for a really long time especially when I go out at night with my friends the next um, lip products that I want to talk about are these and it's the Rimmel London's show off lip lacquers like these but mostly this nude one that I've been really really loving and this one's the 600 nude eclipse one that I've been really loving and I've been uh, I, when I bought this it was $4.99 each which is a huge deal but now the prices are up I believe it's like five something um, I don't know if they just up the prices or I bought it at different I looked at the prices in different places and stuff but I've been really really loving these they smell pretty good like watermelony so I, I don't know I've been really especially liking the new one but I've been using this a lot this year um, my next item that I want to talk about are my brushes my makeup brushes and I've been really loving the real techniques brushes I know a lot of people talk about them but um, usually when people rave about them it's just like eh they're okay they're just like any other product but this one I have been really liking because the hair don't really come out as much as like the other brushes I don't even remember if it did come out honestly so that's how good these brushes are I even got one of my friends the eyeshadow um, package one and she can't wait to use them and I was like yeah I feel like they're better than the MAC brushes so I got her those and I've been enjoying mine as well and I've especially been using the face products more uh, face brushes more and this one's the multi-task brush and I use it for my blushes um, and then this one is the buffing brush that I use to buff my foundation in and then this one's also a foundation um, brush and actually I didn't know that if the I use it so much that it's actually like coming off like the writing um, but I've been using that and I know I've said bad things I guess about this next product and it's the beauty blender at first I was like apply it with my foundation I don't really know if I like it um, but I've been actually using it as like a smudger or like a basically a blender um, so I would like um, put it all in with my foundation brushes and then um, to like even it out and stuff I would use this to blend it all out over my face and it'll look flawless so the next item I'm gonna talk about is a nail polish and it's gonna be Revlon's um, 380 Elegant. It's a nude polish and I've been loving nude po polishes and nude colors this year especially and I know a lot of people have but for me I just kind of got on it um, late and I've been really really loving it. I don't have it on my nails right now actually. I have a Frozen inspired nails right now. You can see the actual pictures and the nail polish that I use on my Instagram but um, I've been really liking new colors especially the Revlon one um, and I can't wait to like get more nude colors and more like I also like this like rose gold color um, that I talked about in my other video. So um, some like skincare products that I've been liking this past year has been my um, Derma Dermalogica um, face brush and I use it with my face wash any kind and I use this um, after I take all of my makeup out with a makeup wipe and then I would wash my face um, with my fingers first and then um, use the brush and then I have like I see the makeup color in the brushes and I would wash it up and rub it again until it's more whitish like the soap is on the brush it's more whitish so I know that most of my makeup on my face is gone and cleaning your face after you have makeup on is important for skincare so I've been really liking this and I don't have the Mia Clarisonic like everyone else so this has but this has been working just fine and it's it's for like two three bucks um, I know you could get it also like for like five bucks or more at like Sephora or like even TJ Maxx um, other skincare products I've been loving is the bio oil I kind of neglected it for a while and then this year I went back on it because my skin's a bit more dry and I want to get rid of the acne scars that I've been breaking out more as well so I've been using the origin 
um, super spot remover. This I found out from a beauty girl. I don't remember who. It was a while, like a long time ago. And this one's actually my second one, and it does really last a long time. And um, I did kind of neglect this for a while as well, but this past year I've been breaking out, so I've been back on it, and I used it all up. And when I got like a uh, like a really really like a gift card, like a ten dollar gift card, I believe. Um, it's originally like fifteen, sixteen dollars, but I got it for like five bucks or so. And I asked my mom to get it because I didn't have time to go, but um, she went and she got it. And she's like, "Oh my god, that's so tiny!" I thought it was like a sample size, but I was like, "Mom, it lasts pretty long." So I now have a coupon. So yeah, so I just went and uh, went ahead and got it, even though I wanted to kind of try a new product. I was like, "It's on sale. It works." So I'm gonna just buy it. And I was gonna kind of save it for later after I use, start using like newer products, but I was like, you know what, I wanna just start using it because I really need it. So I've been really liking the Origin Spot Remover. Okay, so let's, I guess, go on to like hair products. Um, I've been really liking dry shampoo, especially after I dyed my hair. Um, I have to. Do, I think I have to redo the hair update video because I don't even know what I'm said in my hair update video. I think I was sick at that time as well. But anyways, but um, because I bleached on it on the bottom, um, I try not to shower as much, even though I have usually always like shower every other day anyways. But I've been dragging it out more to like two to like three days and. Yes, it's a little bit dirty, but that's kind of what you kind of have to do when you bleach it and then you want to keep that like, like unique color. If it's just like blonde or orange or like brown, I think it's fine, but I have like pink hair and then it became like red and then now it's like totally like orangey or blonde looking. Um, so it'll get oily here, but it's still dry down here for the three days that I don't shower or whatever and I've been just using the Batiste dry shampoo I got a new bottle um, because I just happened to go to TJ Maxx and just grab another bottle but at TJ Maxx I believe it's the cheapest and it's $5.99 other than like seven eight bucks at like, Target or whatever so I've been really liking this um, or just dry shampoo in general for the top of my head and it does give you some volume as well so I've been using that and it's always good to carry a smaller bottle of it as well when you're traveling just in case um, you know because it's better to you know um, not shower as much um, for your hair so yeah I think I like it um, the next item is my curling wand I've been using this a lot this year and I've because my hair grew a lot um, this past year because it was a lot shorter before um, I was lazy but like I was like I'm gonna start curling my hair again because I don't know what to do with my long hair and I've been curling it and practicing and I got really good with it and I burned myself I have marks to prove it but I'm not I've been really enjoying it and I've been um, getting faster at it um, the, I believe this is the last beauty product that I want to talk about and it's my Marc Jacobs Daisy um, um, perfume and it's the um, limited edition spring I believe um, edition and it has like pretty flowers on it and I believe this is the fullest, the biggest size which was like about with taxes about like a hundred something dollars. Um, yes, yeah, expensive, but it does last long, and I've been trying to save it as well. So, but you can see that it's kind of hard for me to do it. Uh, but my mom bought this for me as a gift. I thought but she got it for me, and she was, she was like getting into Marc Jacobs as well. And my my brother just got her one, so she gave me her ladybug that she, she used like pretty much like the whole thing. Um, so yeah, we've been really liking Marc Jacobs perfume together. Um, so that's pretty much it for beauty products um, for this past year. For fashion, I don't, thinking back, there wasn't a 
big favorite of mine for fashion, whether it was like bags or whatever. Um, but I did think of two things, and they are shoe items. And they're both from H&M, and it's my burgundy, or purplish burgundy um, wedges. I did fall in it because my ankle's been bad after the car accident, but um, if it wasn't for the car accident, I think this is like the best. It's, it's, it's really, really tall, but it's wedges, so it's very comfortable. So um, I really, really liked it. And I got it on sale, so it was awesome. Um, the next one is also from H&M. Um, it's these boots, these um, mini boots. And I've been wearing this and I've actually worn it with this outfit today as well. So I've been really liking the H&M um, shoes lately. So that's pretty much it for fashion. Um, for jewelry, I've been just liking spikes as usual, like I'm wearing right now. You know, my friends always getting me spikes um, jewelry and whatnot as well because they know me. Um, I don't know, I've just been really liking it. I've been going with that black look with like spikes and stuff. So, yeah. Um, other things. Um, uh, my YouTube favorites for this past year has been Pentatonics, um, and I don't know, I just didn't watch the show that they competed in, honestly, but I found them um, through Todrick Hall, and he's one of my favorites as well, um, but I've been listening to their songs a lot. They have amazing lights, both boys and girls different ages um, from young to old have been loving their songs and their melodies and whatnot and they're the best acapella group that I've ever heard and I hope that's the same for you because I've been really really liking them and then other music has been just like 90s and oldies songs this past year I've been saying like we're considered like 90s babies already like before they didn't really have that they we talk about like the 80s, the 70s, the 60s, but now people are talking about like the 90s. Now I just feel so old because I'm a 90s baby. Um, but still, I've been loving like older songs. I don't really like the new songs these days. I don't know why, but more of the 90s songs have been more stuck in my head and stuff like um, even some Christina Aguilera, Alicia Keys, um, some Eminem. Um, just like 90s songs um, that I can remember from like middle school and early high school days. Um, so that's like YouTube and music at the same time. Um, movies, um, I the two that I remember the most until now is Despicable Me 2 and Frozen. I recently watched and like I said I did a Frozen um, inspired nails I don't have a tutorial for it if you want one then let me know and I can make you guys one but I just posted up the picture of my Frozen inspired nails and which nail polishes I used to get them um, so yeah I've been loving especially the song let it go I guess that could be my favorite song but it's just been recently, so I don't want to put it in my end of the year phase. But um, so, but it has been despicable me too and frozen. It's so funny. I do want to get it on DVD and watch it over and over. <laughs> um, brand for this year has been Michael Kors, Michael Kors watch, bags, you name it. Um, I love that. Um, events. Um, Honestly, 2013 wasn't the best year that I can remember. It's just been downhill from the end of this, um, 2012 to 2013. I don't know, just, just not in my personal life and also just in general, like watching TV and hearing the news, there's been so many tragedies, whether it's natural causes or um, human causes or whatnot. It's just been... There's been so many deaths um, around and um, shootings and just craziness and it's really sad. Um, 
but I hope it gets better. I have a good, pretty good feeling about 2014, so wish everyone luck, and I hope this year is a lot better than 2013. Colors for this year, I've been enjoying looking at or wearing um, burgundy, emerald, and black and gold combinations like I'm doing right now. I'm doing black and gold combinations with outfits, um, but I've been looking for good emerald colored um, things, but I just couldn't really find any. Um, but hopefully, I mean, that color is not really going to go away, but it has been catching my eye a lot more. Um, burgundy has been my fave for like the past two years, um, like the ox, ox blood was it? Is that was that the color last year? Um, but burgundy colors, like my, sh my wedge heels, um, I don't know, I've been just loving burgundy as well, like reds and stuff like that, especially for my lips or and outfits. So, um, that's pretty much it for my end of the year favorites. I know I don't have a lot of variety of things that I mentioned this year, but um, I did have a lot of beauty items that I think that was very much like, used a lot um, that I can really remember using and I still use now. Um, so I hope it helps or gives you some idea what kind of items I enjoyed at the end of the year and if you would like to and um, haven't responded to any other ones earlier, um, please feel free to list your favorite end of the items um, down in the comments below and check out my Instagram. I've been getting a lot of followers there lately, even men. Um, I don't know if this is because of my random pictures and stuff that looks yummy, um, but I post like everything on Instagram, what I do and my nail stuff, so check out my Instagram, um, the link is in the description below, and I hope to see you soon, XXL.